All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Sons of the Forest. Now, winter time is upon us. Kind of came a little quick. Uh, we got the base built, though. We got the base built. The snow was already here, I guess, you know. <laughs> By the time we got the base built, but it is what it is. Our door did get broken. Um, we got raided pretty bad. We had a bunch of the people get stuck inside my base, so I think I need to have a lock on the outside uh, just so we can stop them from being able to get inside the door. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. Uh, but again, I want to thank you all. So much love and support been being shown to this. I'm glad so many of you guys are enjoying it. We have so much ahead of us. So remember, if you guys do want to see this as a full series, to smash that like button, subscribe, drop comments, and we'll keep it rolling. Now, um, first thing I want to do is I want to take this... Uh, stick holder here I want to move it because i think this stick holder might be what's preventing me from uh fixing this door which means i gotta take all these sticks and move them because i don't think i can whoa where the hell did these come from oh okay uh yeah so we're gonna have to build another stick holder really quick But I hope everybody's having a good day today. Stick storage. Oop. <clears throat> but yeah, I've been absolutely having a blast with this, guys. It's It's been so much fun. Pick this one. Okay. There we go. So we're all set, as you guys can see. Winter time is here. Let me see now. Can I place this? Okay, so it's still won't let me place this. I've been trying to figure out how much of this I'm going to have to deconstruct in order to, to get it fixed proper. Uh, Tim B with the super chat. Thank you so much. Let's get it for us time, baby. Here it is, man. It's good to be back. Let's get it. Forest time, baby. Fire, 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 fire. Cool, cool. <laughs> and Sergeant Play, or Plays, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. How you doing, man? Don't know for Kelvin. Listen, Kelvin lives that good life. All right. Okay, so I can't take any of this apart, guys. So... What I'm going to do is I had a, a secondary idea, all right, because this is all jacked up. Instead of sitting here fighting with this, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Don't know for Kelvin smiley face. Okay, did I not have another half log? It's not. Okay, so we're gonna do that and then. All right, we gotta get some more logs really quick. So today, I do want to get into some caves. I want to get some exploring done. I want to get some, uh, like, the rope gun, things like that. would be really, really nice. Kumar, welcome, welcome. Again, I appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out today. Hope everybody's having a good one. It is super nice weather. 
here in upstate New York today. It was mm -hmm. absolutely freezing the past few days, and then today it's it's beautiful out. Yes, an extension of the entrance. I'm going to make kind of like a little hallway. Yeah, Army Gal, it's supposed to be really warm tomorrow, like in the 60s, and that's unheard of for upstate New York. Like February, usually January and February are the coldest months of the year for us. Um, and for it to be, you know... 60 something in February that's that's unheard of that type of stuff never happens Okay, so that's all done Put the Flooring down I Told you I had a plan guys I had a plan We just had to think outside of that box, you know? There it is. Okay. The earthquake we had this morning. <laughs> Jesus, Crumbus is all a whole earthquake, dude. Hey, listen, guys, I don't mind. I don't mind the snow. It is what it is. But I gotta tell you, after living in like Japan for so many years, like I was a native New Yorker. You know, I'm four seasons. It is what it is. But the problem with it is, I don't mind the snow. The snow is beautiful. It's, it's such a you know. It, it, it's nice, but it's the cold. It's that blistering cold where it's negative 10 now, negative 5. The air burns your skin. It's so cold out. And in and, and, and upstate New York, it's like that for so many months of the year. It's wet. It's freezing. It's icy. It's just so brittle outside. You don't want to go outside. So it's like... You got all this snow. What am I going to sit in my house and stare out the window and look at it? Like, that shit gets old quick. Um, you know, and then the summertime comes and you get two months out of the year of, of nice weather. It's, it's, it's definitely not ideal. You know what I mean? It's not ideal. I definitely wish, you know, I had more time to enjoy being outside. And, and this winter has been nice, so I can't complain. This winter, it's been pretty damn tame. And now it's like, I don't want to go back to, like, real winter. I might have to move. <laughs> yeah, it's just you can't do anything, really. You know what I mean? And I, it's... It's like, oh, outdoor sports, and it's like, yeah, whoop de doo I'm not trying to go outside and freeze my ass off, man. Like, there's no outdoor activities. When I was a kid, I used to love sledding, things like that. I used to really, really enjoy it. But um, as I got older, it's like, it's fun, but I don't know. I just don't like being in the cold like that. Like, I'll be out there for like an hour, and I'm over it. Like, I'm over it. <laughs> Sergeant Plays, man. Dropping the gifted on the channel, man. Thank you so much. Whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. Yeah, it's really, really warm today um, in upstate New York, New York right now. It's crazy. And tomorrow it's just supposed to get even warmer. Uh, yes, this is a new playthrough. I mean, it's, it's the same as we've been playing the past few episodes, but... Dislike the hill that we're on here. Gotta chase these logs down. I 
I love the effects, like when you chop down the trees. Um, like the, sm the snow actually falls out the tree. That was a stick tree. Tim, holy shit, man. Thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Who wants to be in the snow plan? I have a shovel. Use my snow thrower now. Yeah, I mean, I used to... That was, like, my enjoyment. Like, I, I didn't mind go outside and, like, snow blowing and stuff like that. But as for, like, just being in the snow, I, I don't mind the snow. It's the cold that is just unbearable. And, like, the other day, it was... With the wind chill, guys, it was... It was I think negative five degrees. And when we walked out, like we were in my son's hockey game, okay? The arena's freezing. It's obviously hockey. So we walk out the arena and it burned. Like legitimately burned my skin. It was so damn cold. And I'm like, this is not enjoyable. Like I, I hate this. Who wants to be in the snow playing? I have to shovel and use my snow thrower now. That's my level of playing. But I also understand people who hate the blistering hot because I'm not a huge fan of that just blistering crazy heat either. There we go. We had to help Kelvin out a little bit. We want to get this done. Oh, yeah, I got to move myself. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Okay. Cut this out. Now, I don't remember how I want to have the door set up. Yeah, we could do This should be enough. Then I grab a stick. And we lock it. So the reason why I'm locking it on the outside is that way they can't just, like, flash into the door and make their way in. Okay, so it's a little better. Um, we got the base secure again, which is nice. Uh, now I wanted to get my, my, uh, furnace done here, or my, my fireplace. We need 11 more stones, so let's go out and make that happen real quick. See, now I can just lock that, now we don't have to worry about it. I was starting a wall on this side, so I want to get a compound going. Yeah, I mean, I had some people telling me that, you know, I'm, the base I built is right on the path on Dead Slot of a, uh, of a, like, this is where the, the cannibals patrol. Like, I'm literally right on a patrol path. And I'm like, it is what it is. It makes things interesting, right? All right, let's go get this done. 
Makes things interesting. Uh, we're good on food and water right now. Sergeant Plays, thank you so much for the gifted, man. And Tim B dropping the gifted, brother. I really, really appreciate it, man. Uh, and again, Tim, I really appreciate the super chat too, man. That shit was absolutely huge, dude. Oh, there's my little moped. Let me let me bring this back to base before I forget. Yeah, I don't have a lock on the inside. I might be able to, I might try to like finagle something on the inside. Uh, but as of right now, it's the best I could do. So we only need 11 of these and our furnace will be done. Or our fireplace, keep calling it a furnace. Yeah, the scooter I just was riding it. Yeah, it still works in the snow. Save some power. I don't know what else you can hook up to electricity, but it's going to be interesting to see. Love all the different holders now. Wasn't this the explosives holder? And that's our weapon holder. Ari with the 10 months. The devs added an option to turn off respawning loot. Yeah, I, I think I have, I think they said it's off by default, right? That bad boy is done. Okay. So we'll stack these up over here. Hopefully we don't get another attack tonight. There's some logs over here. Anytime I send Kelvin up there to cut logs, all I gotta do is come over here with the log cart, check the side, because a ton of them rolled down the hill. Timby with the six months, man. They really improved this game. I gotta put, yo, it, it, it's nice, man. It feels really good. Definitely feels really good. So I think we'll actually go this. Trying to figure out how, how far out do we want to come. Because I, I want to have a couple feet around, but I don't. it doesn't need to be huge, the compound. You know what I mean? Because uh, if anything, we could just branch off it in the future. Expand it and make it bigger. Okay, so we got this in here. Need another stick, and then I'll prep up fire. We got a ton of firewood in here too. Oh, 
that. I'm gonna come over here, grab my firewood. There we go, guys. It's that simple. Virginia is waiting for that sweet double bed winking face. <laughs> Mosa, how you doing, man? It's good to see you, brother. Yeah, I, I, that double bed's gonna require summertime. We need deer. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, so I got some... Yeah, we got some meat here that we can cook up. We also got some fish here we can cook up. Let's do two meat. My man Calvin comes sitting next to the fire. It's better than uh, if you guys see the thumbnail. <laughs> Cooking Calvin. I feel like we need to get some more light at the front here. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is we'll do some uh, hanging wall torches. Those give off quite a good bit of light. What the hell are those? So give me this light. I mean, I guess it brightens it up a little bit. If I had another bulb. Damn, Calvin getting that good sleep chat. Waiting for food, and then we'll go to sleep ourselves. Now, I wonder, can you lock the door from the inside and the out? No, nah, it only, can only go on one side. So I was trying to see if I could build an... Calvin's knocked out, Chet. Look at him. Are you telling me he does not look happy? Oh, really, Calvin? I tried showing people your face and he turned. He's living his best life. Chris, with the upgraded membership. Thank you so much for that. Welcome to the... Uh, man, I really appreciate that, dude. I can't say welcome because you obviously have been a part of the family. But sitting here with the upgrade, man, means a lot, dude. Look, look at that face, man. Look at that face. That's the face of somebody who's living good. Fuck. Okay, they're here. I would give Virginia the damn handgun, man. God damn it. God damn. Clean me with one hit, dude. Underwater? Man, they really try to kill my ass yet.
I wonder if they're still going to be here if they took off. They didn't glitch my door out again, dude. I'll be so pissed. We'll have to find out in the morning. What? Mutants. What was that face, Joe? Marion, thank you so much for the seven months. How you doing? Yeah, we just we yeah we, uh, we we just want to talk about that. We'll we'll let that we'll let that one we'll just let that one be. We'll let that one be. All right. Well, I mean, we saved right before we went to sleep anyway, so we didn't we didn't lose any progress. Um, let me actually swap over to these spears, guys. The spears are... Mm, we got no more ammo for that. Oh, see, so we didn't get attacked this time. Uh, it was RNG, guys. What? We gotta figure out something with this wall. It's a lot of work right now. That's the only reason why I'm not like gun ho on getting it done because it is gonna be a lot of work and I'm not trying to spend all day today just building a wall. But I am I am quite worried about this base withstanding a really like a strong attack. I don't think we'll make it. All right, let's eat. Uh, we got to get more stuff for armor. Actually, I'll just get some more armor made. I can do it right now. Okay, got that. You need to give me that gun back. Or we can swim out and get another one. You're a wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. 
You need to be hefty, 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 rolling on the floor laughing. All right, we got, how you doing? Listen, I don't know what happened, chat. I don't, I don't know what happened, okay? Those dudes did some unbelievable damage. Okay, we'll get that cooking up. Now, I don't know how... Do... Will the handgun even respawn? Look at this. What is that? Get a swinging on this dude, man. Really, bro? This fucking door is. Calvin chat. Did you see the spike wall build I sent in your dose score general chat? It's wicked effective. Yeah the, sp yeah, the spike walls are nice. I mean, we're going to have to restart anyway, shit. There's, there's there's no way, bro. Like, Calvin got killed. We can't lose Calvin, man. Yeah, if Calvin died, I don't, how, so I think it's because I was trying to get the cannibal off of him. And it, I, I hit him while he was down and he died. So... But Lonely, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Now, the spike wall build is nice. Uh, the problem is, is I don't have enough time. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I'm already being attacked. I spent so, like, the first few days we should have went hard building a base. Um, I didn't. I, I just, I was going out exploring, doing every other thing other than building a base. We lived for, like, the first four or five days with... Um, Without anything here. Look, yo, this door doesn't do shit, though, guys. They break through it so fast. Is there like, any reinforced... Hold on. Let's see about traps. Maybe we can set up some fucking traps or something. Gary, thank you for the super chat, man. Is it true in the military they put stuff in the food to make... Nah, Gary, that's not a thing, dude. At least I don't think so. It seemed, that seemed pretty illegal. Mm. Virginia.
dark as hell out right now, man. Okay, so we fended that off. I'm trying to see about... This guy's back. We need to put some light on the outside, too. I feel like that would really help. Get some like ground torches and shit. Or uh, like standing torches. Move that. Trying to think of how we could fortify the front of this. Obviously, we could do traps. Um, So I got a little bit of rope. We could do up some more armor. Um, mm -hmm. Make an electric fence. Ooh. That sounds cool as shit, actually. Oh, uh, the headlight on the cannibal's head, you can take it? Oh, he fucking despawned. Of course he did. That would have been nice. Okay, so we got two bone armor so far. Yeah, we got we got to get some base defense stuff figured out. That's why I'm trying to look through the book right now, see what we can get away with. Um, so I could have, I could build a lot of these traps right now. I just don't know what's going to be effective. Nice. Where'd you get it from? GameStop. They have like four left. Nice. If you get something good, let me know. I'll trade you. Um.
My bad, Kelvin. There it is. Relentless, dude. This is relentless. So what I'm thinking out what we could do is the uh, fly swatter trap. I'll set up one of those. Let me move these bodies. So I'll do a fly swatter. Here. And here. I used up all my rope, man, on uh, armor. Can you craft rope? I think you can craft rope with cloth, right? I don't even have cloth, though. Oh, we're at so well right now. SOL right now. Okay, so we fended him off twice. Oh, she brought us her whole rabbit, dude. There. <gasps> nice. All right, awesome. We'll actually get this dry in. Yeah, we gotta get some rope. We're gonna have to head out in the morning, try to see if we can find some rope. But you move over, dude. There we go.
Okay, we're gonna go clear out a couple camps. They're attacking us crazy. So we're gonna... We're gonna attack them a bit more. I don't think you can get a decent bit of rope and cloth out of their camps. I love this game. Yeah, this game is so... It, it's... I just love the atmosphere that it, that it has. Um, all the survival mechanics and stuff like that. It's just very, very... Fun for me. Can't really see all that well. I think there's a yeah. So there's two plumes of smoke here. Three. Okay, so we can hit that one, that one, and that one. This is actually where I based up before my main, like my like real big playthrough. We based right here. There was not a water hole here, though. That's new. Trying to see if you could like land peacefully. There we go. Is there another? I don't know if the gun responds. That that's the question that I I had. I I didn't see if anybody said if they uh. If the gun responds, if not, I know there is other locations to find the handgun. Like, there's not just one in the game. There's, like, multiple. I think there's, like, two or three handgun locations. Okay, these are all muddies. I don't know how aggressive they are. I have not killed any of these guys. So I don't see why they would come at me crazy. Nice. Definitely making his way towards me. He definitely tried to attack me right there, right, guys?
Wish I had the damn sniper rifle, man. That's a big guy. Seems like a lot of the camp people aren't here. I only see the one big guy right now. It's a deer. Snitch. Oh, God damn. I need to make up more of those explosive arrows, man. These fucking Jason Voorhees ass, dude. God damn. What's poppin' slime? How you doing, buddy? Sergeant, hey, first of all, thank you, thank you for the gifted, brother. I appreciate it. And no motions. What's going on today, man? How you doing? Hey, we're uh we're trying to survive here. This big ass dude is not going down. God, there's all our armor. Does that finally go down? Holy shit, dude. He was the real fucking deal. Like, legit. That's definitely Jason Voorhees, bro. Still hate people running all around me, man. Muddies. Okay, muddies. We're good. What? Another big guy? Calvin! Go!
Oh man, this camp is... Ah, shit! Wish I had my gun, dude. No way. Yeah, we're so under. Like, these dudes are no joke, man. We came here way under equipped. I, I, I should have known, man. We underestimated the hell out of these guys. Like, trying to take on a whole tribe camp on hard difficulty? That it ain't. Oh, fuck, bro. Incredible bulk, more light. Dude, yo, that shit is no joke. <laughs> Incredible bulk. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought that was going to be way easier, chat. I... I Even if we got the gun, ammo is going to be the problem. <laughs> Crossbow is my favorite weapon in the game, but um, you, you got to hit a couple caves before you can get that. So we're going to go check the boat real quick, see if we can get our hands on another. So that's one trap done. We still need another rope for this one. Okay. Even my meds are running low. No motions. Hey, dude, just dropped another five gifted, man. Brandon, I, that's what I said, man. I, is um, I, I spent a lot of time in the beginning of the game, like not like playing on hard. You gotta gotta kind of you gotta hit the ground running. You know, you gotta get in there, get all your shit squared away before everything like kind of picks up. And I was lollygagging. I was gagging lollies for sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. And uh, I'm paying for it. I am definitely paying for it. The spears were my saving grace there, though. They were pretty decent. They, they, they were they were pretty decent
Yep, gun is back. Get in the fucking boat, dude. Okay, so we're good. Now, I did wound this shark and made it skedaddle. Handled it like a, like a real boss, chat. Huh? Yeah, I did. What do you mean? I got, I got the gun. See, chat's too easy for me. So really quickly, we're going to go do our rounds, try to get a couple more bullets. <clears throat> Come on, I bought, I tried to, I tried to turn over a new leaf right there for you guys. I, I, I tried to boss that one to show you guys, like, I'm not, I fear no, I fear no sharks, you know? I feel like I did a good job. I didn't even, I didn't even hesitate to swim out there. I was trying to make you guys proud. Oh, Brandon, it's all good, brother. I hear you, man. Trust me, dude. I, I get you not wanting no spoilers, man. This, that game is phenomenal. Tim with another super chat. <laughs> Just keep swimming. Yeah, we did, too, and it worked. All right, here we go. So let's see how this goes. Should be high enough. Yep, perfect. Now, I've never been hang gliding before, right? But in theory, I wonder if you can actually stay in the air indefinitely with a hang glider. I know those guys that go up, um, they'll be up for like hours. So is it like a, is it true that they can just kind of go down, gain speed and then go just back up? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, man, swimming fish, tropical fish. Cause yeah, you see some of them guys They'll take off from the... Uh... Maybe that's pair. I, I don't remember. I, I used to see them, they, they, would, they would start on the water and then they would get like pulled up and then they would go up, but they had the, they looked a bit different. They, I don't think they were like hanging like that. They ride the airstreams and shit? That makes sense. And all right, thank you so much for the gifted too, man. I appreciate it, guys. I can't even tell you how many gifted members we've we've had, you know, so many new members to the channel just over the past like week, guys. It's been absolutely mind blowing. The the generosity has been unheard of chat. It's crazy. 
Oh, we just got so much elevation right there. Hell yes. So if you guys want to know what the new meta mode of transportation, we were doing zip lines, we were doing unicycle, but hang glider, this is it, guys. Because this is a big ass map. <laughs> and uh, with this, you could traverse it like nothing. I believe what we're looking for is down here. So did you guys say you can literally just go right into the ground and not take any damage? Show enough. Yeah, we gotta make sure that we, uh... Was this just some... Oh, we already got the grenades that were in here. Um... Beautiful. You gonna peel it off in five minutes? No. You lying? So I was able to glide off this cliff here. I believe this was it. It was just enough to give me the elevation to start flying again. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't take much to get you going with this. You see the tiny bit of elevation? Okay, so now we're a bit better equipped. I don't know if this one handgun is what I need to just go sh try to go ham on these dudes, but I don't know. I feel, I feel like we'll be okay. They fear the gun, right? Well, that does sound good, man. Huh? But would you do your own wings? Well, you could do it like we did last time, cause dude. Yeah, it was pretty good. And then we added it, it was pretty, yeah, it was good, yeah, it was good. So we're gonna clear this beach camp here with the gun. Yeah, upside down pizza, it's like a Utica thing. Um, it's a city where, around where we live, and they have uh, pizza that has sauce uh, that's above the cheese. So it's like pizza, cheese, then the sauce. So it's absolutely delicious. All right. is so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we'll have the handgun set but I will try to use the, the spears primarily she so gonna go snitch can't report us if she never makes it back, right? Okay, we 
got big guy here. Damn, this guy's armored as shit, man. Hey, what's up, dude? What the fuck? This guy ain't going down with no handgun, bro. It ain't enough, chat. It ain't enough. Dude, did he... Seems like I bullied him off the camp for the most part. And they got a lot of turtle shells and shit here too. Patrol party over there. A lot of turtle shells here. You duck, bro. <laughs> he ducked and his boy behind him caught it with his face. <laughs> ah, shit. Got so much fucking armor on. I gotta heal. Just the same sauce we got. There's just a hot. Out oh, pepperoni. Yeah. Yeah. Probably twenty. Yeah. All right, we gotta go, guys. This. I don't know if there's much left here that's worth fighting for. I shot that guy in the leg and now... It <laughs> yeah, fucked up his leg. Look at him. from his legs. No, but for real, chat, how the hell do you deal with these guys with the, uh, with all this thick-ass armor, man? George, brother, what is going on, man? Thank you so much for the 19 months, dude. Bro, I watched your short earlier. <laughs> Oh man, George was playing Sons of the Forest on his channel. <laughs> he went down, he was trying to drink some water. 
as he drank the water, didn't even ask the question beforehand. He, as he was drinking, he was like, I, w I hope this is fresh water as his health goes down. Then he takes another sip and his health goes down. This shit was funny as hell, dude. Flats or drumsticks? Um, I, I mean, I don't have like a, I mean, I, I like them both. You know what I mean? I feel like you can't have one without the other. But, uh, I don't know, I, I like drumsticks quite a bit. She likes the flats get, a lot, but I mean, huh? You just get stuck with the drumsticks. Yeah, I mean, she always just gives me the drumsticks because she only eats the flats. But I don't mind the flats at all. It all kind of just depends on the place, too, because sometimes if the flat, uh, their, their wings are too gummy. I, 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 I hate when wings are, like, gummy consistency. I need them to be nice and, uh, nice and cooked. And the, the drumsticks do tend to be a bit more on the gummy side than the flats. So I feel like you consistently get better wings from flats, but... If they do a good job, to, I feel like it's, it can go either way. We did it, Chad. We got we got some rope, but still not a whole, not a lot. Let me see. So I got enough to finish my traps. Um, I wonder, can you eat the oysters raw? Got to try to shoot the spots with no armor. Figured. Yeah, we're gonna have to start doing some crafting, guys. We got to craft up some heavy explosive arrows, things like that. We gotta, we gotta get a step our game up, man. Uh, honestly, this this harder difficulty definitely makes things harder. See what I did this yet? I don't know how I do it, but. Yeah, we're playing on the hard. George, the shit's... The, the enemies are... They hit hard as hell. Like, hard as hell. I don't I don't think I'm playing on hard survival. I think we're playing on just regular hard. Oh, this is going to be a pain in my ass. Survival is rough, dude. Yeah, and it's super, super rough. I did a playthrough before on it, and um, yeah, shit. I just couldn't get over how uh, the, the only turnoff for hard survival for me is how unbelievably tanky the enemies are. Um, as you can see there, they get so armored up that it's like it, it, they're really, really hard to fight. And then you're so squishy that it, it's just. It's very, very unbalanced. So we're super squishy. They're unbelievably tanky. Resources are really, really hard to come across. It definitely just makes you... It turns it into just running away all the time. You just never fight because it's never worth it. So you just run. So dark.
Am I playing Skull and Bones again? Yeah, I actually, my th I was actually gonna play it yesterday, um, but I only was able to get one stream in for the day. Uh, I was actually so surprised on how well that game is doing. I did not expect you guys to enjoy it that much, but so many of you guys are actually really enjoying that as a series. I don't know if it's because just a whole lot of other content creators aren't playing the game, so it's kind of like... I'm like, I, like, I like own the market on it because I could not believe how well it was doing. I was like, what the hell is going on here? What is going on here? But I enjoyed the game anyway, so it's easy. It's an easy dub for me. It was easy for me. Um, I do think that the game gets a bit more hate than it deserves. Like, you know what I mean? We talked about it on the uh, on the while we were playing that. I don't. The raft camp? What raft camp? My electric scooter was right here. Oh, maybe it's not. Where the fuck is it? At the raft camp. I don't remember riding it to a camp. I thought I rode it over here. What ra- Oh, over there. Yeah, yeah, no, okay, no, no, yeah, it's fine. I, I know where you're talking about. It's up over there. It's, it's, it's because I ended up flying out of there. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I'll, I'll go get that. I was so confused. I'm like, what raft camp? Is that? I don't. Even, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what it is. Um, can I do up some explosive arrows? I don't even want to know, dude. So I need circuits and batteries if we're going to do explosive arrows. Poison arrows. We just need that mushroom that I don't have. Hmm, poison arrows might be. I, I, what, has anybody used the poison? Is it, is it is it actually pretty effective? We're not home. What the fuck is that? Yeah, we need to fucking move, dude. I don't want to live here anymore. I don't want to live here anymore. Are these traps even hurt in this damn thing?
Oh, set it on fire? <sighs> yeah, I forgot the mutants don't like fire, do they? Trying to peel my spears out of the damn thing's body. I don't even know what we're going to do, man. I don't even know how we're going to come back from this. I feel like we're such at a disadvantage. Like... Like, we can't... We can't catch our breath. And there goes another door. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely said, uh, you know, I was talking all that shit in the beginning. I was like, ah, oh, you know, blah, 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 blah. I wanted a, I wanted a, a more action at the base. Yeah, okay. I, I, I take it back, Chet. All right. I was, I, I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. All right. I was acting like Mr. Tough Guy. And now I'm getting my ass handed to me. I just didn't want to live somewhere where I just never got attacked. You know what I mean? That, that's that, that's what I that's what I was worried about. We're thirsty and hungry. But I didn't want to like cheese the game in any way or like try to like. The thigh clapper nine thousand <laughs> is what happened BS with too many thigh shreds. <laughs> The thigh clapper 9,000. Yo, it, it did look like its legs were like, like, like smacking together. Brandon, thank you so much for the super chat, but I appreciate it, man. There's no monks over here. So, what is the worst base attack you guys have ever got on this in this game? Like how bad? Because we've had like quite a few guys show up, but I'm wondering like how bad can the base raids really get? Callie, how you doing today, man? It's good to see you. Nah, man, I'm glad to be back into it, man. Mm. What does 
fill this whole log sled up. Yeah, that door is sorry as hell. Like, sorry as hell. That, am I sure Kelvin survived that camp? Yeah, it's, he says he's still alive. He's running back to me. You don't need the zipline network anymore, George. Now, nah, the way they got this shit set up now, dude, it's... Okay, so yeah, we're able to just rebuild the door. Nice. Huh? Oh, brother, you a oh, I got a bunch of them down there. That's what I said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, can I help her? Where the hell did that go? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Trying to think of how we could reset this up. with me for one moment guys so you guys are probably like what the hell it's the only idea I can come up with if not we're gonna have to start over again chat if I can't get this to work we're literally gonna have to start the whole fucking game over again just to do this the right way but let me see
Okay. <clears throat> if I have to start... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I have to start over and piss off a lot of people, man. So I feel like people get invested in the play. No, I mean, I, I almost started over on episode one only because I don't like the season settings that are... I, I didn't change them, and I, I was pretty upset about that, uh, that I didn't remember to change them. Um, now I have, like, really, really short seasons, and I don't like... I like, I like you know, being in wintertime for a long time or being in springtime. Like, that's how I like it. And there was a couple other settings... Um, that I, that I wanted to change that I didn't end up changing, but it is what it is. We're, we're invested. All right, there we go. But then I also feel like people like to see, you know, the, the redemption, you know, can we, can we come back from this? Probably not, but eh. Oh shit, I gotta, gotta throw this up. Okay, so that's now secured. Uh, so what I'm doing to my base here is we're... We're moving the entrance because the, the entrance to my base was extremely soft. Very, very weak. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm moving the entrance of the base to the up, up on the top where they can't just break through it. So now my structure is a bit more solid. Um, only thing that sucks is Calvin's got nowhere to sleep, but he'll be all right. We'll, once, once we get the compound situated, then we'll worry about Calvin. What if I could do another rope too? I don't want to only have the one way up. Can we put one here too. This is broken. So now we got multiple ways up. And because we got this covered, there's, yep, there's no snow falling in. We're good. This isn't super convenient, though, Chad. I'll tell you what. Huh? 
So can I? I actually got the fish. I got oysters. And then three fish, and we can do the Kelvin special. Of course, I got two fish. Are you kidding me, dude? So we can cook ramen, chicken noodle soup. the soup going all right so i'm gonna check the inside of the base here we'll make sure this is good to go and then we are gonna go hit those camps uh another one These are going to go bad, I already know it. Make a ramp or stairs going out? Yeah. That actually might be a bit more... Uh, probably put them right here in the center, right? Let me, let me, let me see. Oh, I forgot I had these here. Never mind. The wall that will never get built. And your first Sons of the Forest. I, I no, I've actually never played Sons of the Forest multiplayer ever before, Max. Yeah, I've always only played single player. See if this solves our problem. Hmm, actually, can't because I need the beams. Let me see. I don't think I can do the, the stairs. Yeah, see, because we, we already have the beams going out this way. Wait, Calvin, how the fuck did you get in here, dude? What GTA character would I replace Calvin with? Yo, Trevor all day. Trevor would have this island under control in, in a few minutes. Actually, Trevor would just probably, he, he, he'd fit in with everybody.
Oh shit, they added the corner ramps too. That's pretty cool. Damn, an electric fence. But George, thank you again, brother, for the super chat, man. I appreciate you, brother. I, I don't see a ladder chat. I, I never... I mean, a, a rope and a ladder, I don't see what the difference would be. We'd have, we got to climb both of them, so... It's... So we got that. I mean, it, it is what it is. We got a decent setup right now. Um... This is a bit more defendable, so we should be okay with that. Now let's see here. Uh, we gotta eat, drink. Soup should be done. I can't build a ramp because my base is already like a pre-existing. Um, I already got power lines run. I'd have to rip most of this base down just to even make space for um, things to work. So it just is what it is. Go. The thing is, I got no batteries, chat. Like, zero batteries. I took the rope down. I can't build the so... The reason why I can't build the stairs is, you see how, so in order to build stairs, you have to have the, the log coming down. And then you see how this log's going across? You can't have the log going across. You have to have a log coming down. So because I already have the log going across, I can't do another log down. I, that's why I just had those logs um, parallel here or whatever, and I couldn't build another log down because there's already one coming off it. So I'd have to rip all of this down. And then, and it's just not, it's not, I'd rather just build a whole new fucking base at that point. So I'd have to tear so much apart just to make the stairs work. I'll just use the ladder, you know what I mean? Chris, thank you so much, brother, for the super chat. How you doing, man? All right, let's see here. Back at it. Nice. Yes, we are back again. the 3D printer cave.
George, George, George. <laughs> So let's do up arrows. Try to upgrade from these damn stone arrows because they're just not that great. So I think we can hold 15, right? 15 or 16, I think, is max when it comes to these. 10. Can you build in here? Uh, no, you can't build in here. Yeah, the carbon arrows are really, really good, but those aren't craftable. There we go. So we got 15 arrows. Was able to get some batteries out of here. So I want to check the crash site, see what cave was up near this crash site.
Over there, there's some that four-legged bass double-headed mutant. Those. Do the fire arrows. Might be able to just get past this dude and get in the cave. A lot of skulls. Shot off his fucking head.
Crazy man. How many resources that took? Shotgun ammo. Got the cross. I don't know what cave this is. I don't remember what's in here. Uh, the cross is used against the demons in the game. There's uh, another enemy type that's called a demon, and they're weak to the cross. They aim it at them, and it sets them on fire. This, this cave's blocked by that fucking thing. Robin Hood? No, Savage. I've never heard of that. Yeah, there was no creepy armor on this, dude. The cre they actually nerfed the getting of creepy armor. Cre creepy armor used to be, you used to get it off of any of the mutants. Um, and it was like, you know, it's top tier armor. And you'd be able to farm the shit out of it. But uh, they made it so you could only get it from these special mutants now. Well, definitely makes the acquisition a bit harder than it was.
shit. There's a lot of dudes in here, man. So we pink misted those two. Those fucking ammos. Oh, those arrows are so t bad, dude. Got his ass. Get some armor off this dude. George with the gifted thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it, man. 
I really appreciate that, dude. Whoever receives that membership, welcome to the fam. Damn, is that another tanky dude? I don't got, I don't got the, I don't got the resources, chat. See if we could bypass him. batteries Drop and roll. Savage. Hey, we just did what we had to do there, guys. No, 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 no. We're not the soul sucker 9000 chap. We've already discussed. All right. That that nickname ain't it. It didn't sound okay. Like I said it and then I, I was like, no, no, that's not that's not it. So I, I retracted. I retracted that. Just run, chat. You think we can make it? Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't just run guys. I need can you have them grab me a paper towel? I couldn't just run. I, I needed there was, there was light and there was loot guys. Look what am I supposed to do? Just leave it there? Just just leave it there?
We need to get that damn flashlight, man. Even though we don't really have the batteries for it, but... How many skin pouches we got? I, I've been opening pretty much every one I've found so far. I see a lot of them down there. Shit, I didn't expect this cave to be this big. Not expect this to be this big. Okay, so we got a couple pieces of armor on. Reason with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much. Soul Sucker 9000 name was said. Well, suck your soul up right now, bro. Gonna sit there. Nah, listen. Listen. I re as long as I reason, as long I retracted it within the first 10 seconds of saying it. So, as long as you take it back within the first 10 seconds, it's kind of like the, you know, the, like the, the 10 second rule, the five second rule. It's the same thing. Chap. New York, Semper Fi, brother. How you doing today, man? Yeah, I retracted it within the first 10 seconds, so we're, it, it, we're good.
Oh, you little shit. Before the Soul Sucker 9000 name was said, B proceeded with, I'll F and suck your soul up right now, bro. Gonna sit there and come at me. A uh, yo, pause. Listen, I didn't even say it like that. Like, I would never, like, that doesn't even sound cool. Chad, is that how I said it? That's not how I, no, you guys are obviously gonna say that's how I said it. So I seem like I said something not cool. But we all know I would never say something like that not cool. Bro, stop admiring the fucking gun and let's go. No, you son of a- Okay, so we got the zip gun, chat. That means we could do shovel cave now, right? We do shovel cave, we can get the shotgun, we get the shotgun, we beat the game. If we have bullets. Oh, spring is, is, is coming, chat. Yeah, we got to get the crossbow. That that needs to happen. That needs to happen. For sure. No, we got to we got to figure out where I can get some elevation here. Kelvin. Oh, we got a we got a group coming. Fuck. And I just left the cave. I can't afford to fight these dudes right now. So with the five gifted, thank you so much, man. Everybody receives one of those memberships. Welcome to the family. Seriously, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. And then Peso also with the hardened survivor tier membership. That is massive, dude. Yeah, yeah. Purple marker. Purple marker. Uh, flashlight. That wings are spicy as shit, dude. What the fuck? My up, my upside down pizza. Here, let me gain some elevation real quick. Right down there, right? It just doesn't seem healthy. Okay, so thank you so much for another super chat, but from one vet to another on uh, lifeguards, um, what you just started watching a month ago. Just start a month ago. Hey, brother, I appreciate you being here, man. For real. 
A month is a long time to put up with this. Those of you guys that have been here for years, I don't get it. I don't understand how you could look at this face for so long. I tried to cut the rope, it didn't give me the option. Is it because I had the stupid glider on? No, I don't think I had the glider on. Because I threw the... Oh, maybe you gotta actually cut it. I don't remember this stuff, chat. I think maybe I gotta actually, like, cut it. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you actually gotta cut it. You need to cut it! You know what I mean, chat? Am I hip with it? That's like a hip song, I, I think. Oh no. My beard caught the sauce, chat. Kinda got on my shirt, though. See, I'm pretty hip with it. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. I'm hip with it. I'm hip dog. Got the flashlight. But yeah, this pizza that I'm eating is straight busting, busting. LMAOOOO, we look because it's entertaining. It's busting, busting. Oh, we got a flare down there. weird it's like it's the same animation every time they just die dude <laughs> but i do like the fact that they have this because then it, it kind of points you in the right direction of where to go get the fuck out of here dude Modern axe. Excuse me. Got the modern axe. Pull on that. More explosives. Grenade. It's actually a pretty nice campsite, man. I know we got a flashlight, guys. Like an actual fla flashlight. No, what do you know? It's a flashlight. You hit. No cap. <laughs> Chris, thank you, thank you for the super chat, brother. I, uh, you know, I, I try to, I try to stay, I, st I try to stay relevant, you know. That way, I know all the lingo. When the youngins come in and they're spitting their lingo at me, you know, I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm hip with it.
do you mean no one says hypno anymore? Then what do you say? So, so the fact that I say hip makes me not hip with it. Tim B with the five gifted brother. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Chris said that's for my 16 year old daughter. She's sus. I mean, it seemed like she knew what she was saying. It wasn't in the night. I mean, I don't know. I lose Jack Jet. I wasn't. I was like. I was like a child in the nineties. Like I was born in eighty nine. Yes, Martin, you can use the axis as a weapon and um, very good weapon, too. King DTA says, yeah, I meant flashlight, not fleshlight, bro. King DTA, but why would you? That's from my 16 year old daughter. She's Seuss. Why would your thing autocorrect a fleshlight? Hmm? Hmm? Why would it auto-correct to that, bro? <laughs> Don't even ask the question, bro. <laughs> Don't even ask, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my phone's got a virus, dude. My phone's got a virus. <laughs> That's all you gotta say, man. My my phone got a virus, dude. I don't know what happened. <laughs> We're just flying, Jeff. We're meeting dinner and flying at the same time. Am I half Mexican? No, I am not of uh, Hispanic origin whatsoever. A lot of my, growing up, a lot of people thought I was uh, Hispanic, but yeah, I'm not Hispanic in the slightest. I think I could pass a little bit, but. Yeah, a lot of people ask me what I am, and my answer is always just, I'm American. <laughs> I'm just an American, dude. Yeah, that winter time is over, though, chat. That winter time is over. Okay, so we did end up getting a bunch of goodies here. Let me see. Actually, let's... Mm, hold on, hold on. Damn it. 
So we'll put that one there. Let me see. Pick this one up. It's got a little bit of ramen left in it. Let's slurp that up. And then... Yo, how do I put the flashlight away? There we go. I was like, I don't want to waste my battery. We've got so many pots. I think all of them are empty, actually. All right, let me go dry this meat outside. Before it spoils. Go fill our water. And then uh, once I get back to base, I'm going to take three and a half minutes and uh, eat the rest of my food here because I don't want to end the stream just to eat. I'd rather just eat for like three minutes and then we can just continue playing. You know what I mean, guys? But for those of you guys, that we could turn it into like a little Q&A. You guys can ask me some questions for a few minutes. It could be about anything. And uh, I'll even turn my camera off. So for those of you guys who don't want to watch me scarf down my pizza. You don't have to watch me scarf down my pizza. Because I know, I know how some people feel about that. Alright, let's get this cooking. Damn it. Um... There it is. All right, let's get all this stuff there and you can use these tarps for other than the little like cheesy tent is there another use for them throw I need to keep a lot of the medicine on me yeah, we'll throw those actually I could have just freaking stack those up here so keep a bunch of the medicine on me um, that there oh, looking good looking good some stuff up there yeah my, my collection is nowhere near where it needs to be but now we can go hit the uh, Shovel cave, and once we get shovel, you guys know that it's all good at that point. Eric with the five gifted. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everybody receives a membership. Welcome. That's awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Eat plus boot camp stories equals the best prize streams. I feel like every time we get into military conversations, I end up embarrassing myself one way or another. What the hell's on the top of that? I don't recall that. Was that a scope? Did they add a scope to it, chat? Right, we actually ended up getting some more stun gun ammo. And a slingshot. I wonder if that's any good against the cannibals. A range finder. They added a range finder. That's, that's actually quite nice. That's actually quite nice. All right. So if you guys have any questions, ask away. I'll turn my camera off here so I can so I can eat. I'm still here though, guys. Do I have any Marine Corps ball stories? Um, I mean, like none that like stick. I mean, I was the youngest Marine, um, three years in a row because I joined the Marines when I was 17, and uh, yeah, I was the I was the youngest Marine at the ball for three years in a row, and it was the only time I was able to drink. Too, they let you. They let all the underage Marines drink at the ball.
Where's the suppressor? Uh, it's in another cave. I actually don't remember what cave it is. I think it's the flooded cave. Chad, I just bit the hell out of this chicken wing. It had a big chunk of chicken wing stuck in my tooth, man. Yeah, it's in a flooded cave. I don't remember where that cave is, though. What was my MOS? So I held many of MOSs. I've been anything from infantry. Um, I was an en I did some engineer, um, ammunition specialist when I was in the army. Uh, I was an OC, jungle warfare training instructor, uh, air assault. I wasn't an actual air assault school instructor. I just went to air assault school. I passed. I was air assault qualified, and. Uh, I used to train all my guys going to air assault school, getting ready for like sling load and oh no, is slick sling load is all the same. Well, the sling load portion, if you only want to get sling load qualified, the course is called slick. So I used to train both of them. <clears throat> I still have the stand up desk. I'm not standing right now though, George. Will I be playing Nightingale again? Um, Probably at some point, Bubba. I'm not sure though. So I, jo I, I joined the Marines first in 2006. I was in the Marines for four years active duty. I got out. I ended up going into the, uh, I was out for like eight months. And uh, I ended up going into the National Guard because the Marine Corps um, reserve station around where I lived was like two and a half hours away. And the... Army National Guard station was right in my hometown. So I was like, hell yeah, dude, I'll do it. And there was a sign-on bonus. So I went ahead and joined the Army National Guard. And it was nice because coming from the Marine Corps, when you join the Army, you don't have to go to boot camp or, or basic training or anything. So me being an infantry Marine, I was able to just go right into the Army as an infantry soldier. I didn't have to go to school. I didn't have to do anything. I was MOSQ day one. So I was able to just go into the army. And uh, I did that for like three months, I want to say it was. And I was like, yo, this ain't that bad. Ended up running into some financial issues. My wife was pregnant. We were super, super, super poor. I was eating at like a dollar store. We were getting behind. I was like four months behind in my mortgage. It was like really really bad so i went back and i did what i knew best was was join the military because i was in the army national guard i was able to do what's called a 368 conditional release transfer so i was able to transfer from the army national guard into the army active duty and uh then i was active duty in the army for the rest of the time Um, can you take that light on? Somebody said that you can, Mongo. You can take the light off their head. I, I got to try to get another one. We pops was in the Afghanistan. Oh, that's dope, man. That's dope. Will I be continuing my worst games of all time series? Of course, of course, Undead, of course. The only problem is that you guys had me play that Gollum game and it wasn't even that bad. I left the army in 2019. I was officially done, done with the military. If I could turn back time, what would I change? Um, nothing really. I mean, maybe I would have joined the Air Force. Probably should have joined the Air Force. 
got a technical job. I don't regret anything I did in the military, but uh, combat MOSs are just, they're, they're dead ends. Um, it's hard to explain. It's like I was young, I was motivated, I wanted to fight, had a bunch of pent up anger, you know, I was just a stupid kid. And uh, it, it was a good experience, but there's just no skills that are applicable in the outside civilian world, unless you want to be a police officer or go into like um, some type of law enforcement, DEA, FBI, like, but other than, unless you want to live that life for the rest of your life, the there really is no transferable skills. So that was the issue I had is I got out of the military and I'm like, yeah, I can kill people. I can fucking run really fast. I can like shoot guns and throw grenades and, and, and yeah, what the fuck? People don't care about that shit. It doesn't, it doesn't make any you know it doesn't transfer well into the civilian world so um i am right. currently watching your playthrough of grand theft auto san andreas seen you live streaming and wanted to tell you to keep up the awesome content winking face hey simon slater thank you so much for the super chat i really really appreciate that man you know gta san andreas was such a good time such a good time but that's uh, yeah private security but i didn't want to live that life anymore guys i was over it I, I was done like you know what i mean? I didn't want to fight anymore i didn't want to like get shot at anymore i had three combat deployments um you know that spanned over almost two years you know i've seen my fair share i was over it i was done i don't i, mean, I don't want to do it anymore uh, i was already having a hard time fucking sleeping i've lost friends and all that shit. i was over it you know what i mean i didn't want to do it so getting out of the military to go just into another job where i would have had to live that same life i was good like i didn't want to do it um so I, at that point all i had to do like all the only options i had was be a truck driver which i did or be a cop um or like work construction you know some kind of labor job or something like that but yeah that was the only issue with like combat mos is, is there's just no light at the end of the tunnel you know what i mean um there's not there's no like getting out of that life and then like finding this amazing job like you can become like an instructor i got a couple of buddies that i served with that are instructors they train people um as a civilian they train guys and they make really good money but like i said i just wanted to i didn't want to do it anymore I, I didn't want to i wanted to do something else with my life you know what i mean what part of afghanistan was in uh so my first deployment i was down in kandahar uh providence we were i was down in nauzad uh sangin um yeah nauzad sangin um we we're in kandahar and then on my second deployment I was up. In, I was in the eastern part of Afghanistan. I was uh, in the Patika Providence, and that was like Sharana, Shank. Uh, I spent some time in uh, like Bath, uh, Bagram. So I've been. I've been all over. King, yeah, King GTA Death Valley is uh, where Nauzad is. <clears throat> I was there in 2009. Yep, we pushed that whole valley, man, when I, on my deployment in Afghanistan. We pushed the whole entire fucking valley. Yep, there's a, there's even a castle type of thing in the, like, down towards the end of it. And we, we, we took the whole thing. You were in Shank in 2009. Yo, Shank is a fucking shithole, man. So much IDF, dude, because it sits in a bowl. It's the worst fob ever, dude. I, I, every night we would take IDF. Every night, man. That the they came and they in, they installed those. Um, what the hell are they? Chat the Sea Whiz or whatever. I, I can always forget the name of them. They have them on naval ships and it shoots the mortars out the sky. They're fucking dope as shit. But yeah, you, the alarm will go off like what, what, what? Incoming, incoming, incoming. Yeah, the C RAM, and fucking all of a sudden you would just hear, Wee and you just see the tracers out in the sky. It's just so sick. You 
Yeah, those things are they're pretty fucking cool. Yes, the pizza was very good, Chad. I got two chicken wings left. I'm sorry. I know you guys are you guys are you got me talking, so I can only eat so much. Yeah, DTA, it was a, it was it was rough, man. My my uh my my first time in Afghanistan was my worst time in Afghanistan. Yeah, it was it was it was it was, it was pretty rough. Oh man, these wings got my mouth on um, fire, dude. Holy shit. See, I'm over here struggling. <laughs> They're so good, though. But, no, I mean... I like I like where you know I, I'm obviously not upset with the choices I made in life because I am where I am now and obviously if I would have made different choices I probably wouldn't have my family like I have now I wouldn't have you guys I wouldn't have any of this you know what I mean so I'm, I'm very very happy with uh, the decisions I made the choices I made because I am where I am now you know what I mean and yeah granted I got some struggles and things that I have to deal with because of the things in my past but um, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I, I feel like I feel like I wouldn't have it any other way, you know what I mean? You know, I got a, I got an amazing wife, I got amazing kids. Um I got you guys that have blessed me with this fucking this life where I get to sit here and do this for you know, something I love, I get to do on a daily basis for a living. Um you know what I mean? I, 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 who am I to complain about anything? You know, I literally, I, I, I tell you guys all the time, like wh what you guys have done for me and what you guys have allowed me to do, it's, it's fucking amazing, it, it, and I, I appreciate it so much. You know, because I can tell you right now, 19 year old Brian stomping around Afghanistan never thought that I would ever be sitting here, doing what I'm doing today, having this conversation. Like never in a million years. You know what I mean? God damn, that wing was hot, bro. I got, all right, chat. I could totally eat more, but uh, I'll have some more after this. God damn. Them wings were spicy, chat. They were so spicy. I got. I don't even give him. I don't even give the heartburn a chance to manifest, chat. I don't even give it. Were them wings spicy for you too? Yo, she just got me sweating over here. My nose is running. I couldn't finish eating. I couldn't finish eating them. Huh? I couldn't finish eating them. They were. They were so good though. Like they were. They were the good hot though. Oh man, that was rough, guys. And yeah, but the the tum the tum helps out with the spice, cause like coats your mouth. It's so it's it's the clutchest method, man. I ate a habanero once uh, as a dare, as like a fucking idiot. And uh, I ended up eating a, a Tom and it, it, it helped out a bit, but that shit hurt, man. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, all right, guys. So we got the flashlight. That is the... Oh, I definitely dropped some on my hoodie. You can see that. You see that right there? Right there and right there. Yeah. I got hit with two. I got... I was wounded in action. Okay, so we can go... Actually, we got to get some sleep. Hold on. See, that's what I was worried about happening when I when I went to the the um the raft. If I would have tried to land, the ra the glider would have hit the raft and freaking flung into the water. Um. Before I go, uh, I heard rumors SOD three will be out in twenty twenty seven. That's just a rumor, man. Yeah, there's no. There's no, uh, even the, one of the devs that heard that quote-unquote rumor was just like, you know, don't believe every rumor you hear. Um, so, yeah, uh, I definitely would uh, take what you hear on the internet with a grain of salt. I don't, I don't listen to any of that stuff until I hear it from the devs themselves. Until they say, State of K2 is coming, or State of K3 is coming on 2027, I'll be like, all right, hey, guys, 2027. Um... So I needed to sleep, guys, but honestly, I can't because it's middle of the day. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab two of these. Um... Sit on a bench? Okay. Oh, hold on. I could build a bench outside. Yeah, there's, uh... The thing about State of K3 is we've got a lot of clickbait on the internet. You know, people, people just fishing for clicks. And, um... The thing is, is they did an announcement trailer, right? And the announcement trailer wasn't saying, hey, this game is coming out soon. The announcer trailer was literally just saying there will be a th State of Decay 3. Like, that's all it was. It was confirming that, because before that, there was not even, they didn't even know if they were going to make it. Um, so then they went ahead and said, you know what? We are going to be making State of Decay 3. And uh, that's what the announcement in 2020 or 2019, whatever year they, they announced. I don't remember exactly which one it was. And then, uh, so when that was announced, People just took that and ran away with it. Like, oh, State of the K3 is coming out next year. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I doubt that. You know what I mean? I, I highly doubt it's coming out next year. Um, and then, you know, people, oh, it's coming out next year and then next year. And ever since that announcement, ever since day one, I've always said, I don't think State of the K3 is going to be coming until like 2024, 2025. That was what I thought because the game just needs time. You know what I mean? If, the, if, if they... Uh, if, if State of Decay 3 came out any earlier than like 20 this year or next year, I highly doubt it's coming this year. I feel like if it was going to come this year, we would have heard something. So I honestly feel like we're going to, I feel like it's going to come next year. Uh, now, if not, A, it is what it is. I, it, but uh, I honestly feel like we're going to get some information this year on the game, maybe. And then hopefully the game will release next year. But if State of Decay would have come out, any earlier than that the game would not have been what we wanted and and that i try to stress that to people all the time the faster they make the game the less features the more cr you know what i mean so i found out that this helicopter event is literally just that there, there's nothing that you can gain from it um it's that it's that guy who knocked us out in the beginning of the of the game creeping on us But I, I, I don't want the game to be made fast. I want them to take their time, make the game amazing, whether that takes five, six, seven, 
What, however fucking many years it takes, you know what I mean? What if we could follow this thing? You guys ever followed the chopper? I'm not gonna be able to keep up. Got right, left render. Let's get some elevation here. Ty, thank you for the three months, man. I'm definitely having a good day, brother. Definitely having a good day. Yeah, we should have told Kelvin to freaking stay home. Or his ass to stop following me around. Okay, let's see here. So... Keep going this way. Not good. Ugh. Don't have enough elevation here to clear that, so let's keep going this way. No, yeah, that bench was clutch, guys. Uh, get my stamina back. There's still snow up here. Does this area always have snow? No, this area just shouldn't always have snow. Gotcha, fuck! Yeah, I think this is the cave you need. You need the uh, scoop tank fort and the uh, zip line gun. Any batteries, so I can't do. I could do flame arrows, though. <laughs> I 
That's how I would make them, dude. Unnecessary. We also got a grenade. Yeah, the hang glider is so good now, flashy. It's the best way to traverse the map. Ease, hands down. So can't you bait these dudes into all well, you can and then they die? <laughs> That's two down. Yep, two of them. Doesn't say if you waited until I was. Huh? Yeah, you just click on it. I didn't even change it. I don't know, probably like 15 minutes. Heard <laughs> it. Be safe, maybe 7.30. I do use the stun baton. I, I'm just out of batteries. <laughs> I'm out of batteries right now. And uh, batteries have a lot of uses now with the new crafting.
see, I can't see. Can't see, I can't see. Oh, that's a good astro. Want to get my arrows out of this one? Yeah, I'm even worried about the batteries on this flashlight right now because I just don't have a whole lot of batteries. Need to get that pistol flashlight. Because those have infinite battery, right? Oh, I forgot I got the better axe now. Yeah, we can start using that as a as a weapon too. Um Oh shit. Did you not save it? Huh? I don't think you saved it. You know. Huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely no turning back now. We're stuck, stuck in here. We got armor though. Okay, so we got four things of bone armor. I could do more if we, let me see, is there enough bone here to do more? I don't think so. Perfect. Okay, so we do. You can light the axe. No, you can't equip it. Oh, okay, so this act, I thought it was a two hand. I didn't know I had my light out with it. I think that was something you could do in the first game, in the, the first forest game, where you could like set all your weapons on fire. I don't know if you could, I don't think you can do that one in this one though. Those explosives would be nice. If I had more batteries, I could make more arrows. What else can we make with explosives? Is there anything else we can craft? Sticky bomb.
Where's the coins? There it is. I just feel like it's a waste if we don't take those, you know what I mean? Craft up some explosive charges. <clears throat> Hey Brutal here some change thank you for all you do hope get some more dying light content with gun they're awesome once you get more damage thanks love ya. Well thank you so much brother that $100 super chat holy crap dude. That is absolutely insanely generous man. Yeah I was actually going to play some more dying light tonight. Um, that was twas the plan. It was actually, let me see. Seriously, well, thank you so much for that, brother. I really can't explain to you how huge that is, man. And my bladder. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh. I was like, yo, how did I get attacked by a bat? <laughs> Got one battery, right? Yeah, so we, we'll be able to reload our flashlight one time. There it is. I think, the, isn't the pistol light in one of these caves? I don't know if it's in this one, but.
I got one more C4. Damn. So low on stam. Those ones are way easy to drown, man. My problem is once they drown, we can't get their fucking can't get the mutant skin off them. That's the only downside to that method. Shovel, baby. Got the shovel.
At least we can do for what you given us over the years somehow watching videos keep me from losing jump off your videos was there making me laugh through some when I hit bottom I'm so grateful you do what you do know me and my five year old watch you thank. Well, thank you so much brother that is huge man and I'm glad I could be here for you and the fam man. Um, and, and trust me, man, that goes both ways, dude. Like, you guys have helped me and my family um, the same way that you guys say that I've helped you guys. It's, it's It definitely goes both ways. So I thank you guys for what you do for me. Way more than you guys probably even could ever imagine. But Will, seriously, I really appreciate you, brother. I really do. That is a huge super chat, man. Changed. I can't even blow this dude. I have to go back out the long way. I think that's a shortcut, but I don't have any change. Oh wait, that's the only way out, I think. Can you chop that dude? grenades either no can make explosive arrows though. Do you guys think that'll be enough? I oh, I, I got claw for Molly's. Will Molly's kill it? It's gonna work, guys.
it is. Had extra batteries, man, and now... Now we don't. That flashlight was very short-lived. Not bad, guys. Not bad. So we got the shovel. Uh, I think it's sun's. Yeah, sun's going down, I believe. No, maybe it's coming up. Maybe it's the morning. I don't know. What time is it? I think it's morning, actually. Yeah, 6 in the morning. They say it rises in the east, so... Did I come out the cable? So... Resource wise, we definitely spent a bit in that cave, but we got the shovel And then the shovel opens up the game for us. We can now dig up a whole bunch of the bunkers. We can get the shotgun um, Yeah, there's a there's a lot of stuff that the shovel unlocks. So it was all around uh, a, a Plus definitely a plus clearing that place out and As you can see here we got the base restructured so we can at least survive a bit. But we got we got some stuff that we got to take care of, guys. We got some stuff that we got to still clean up. Um, but now that we got the shovel, hope, I'm hoping that we'll slowly start being able to chip away at this. But all right, guys, we're going to end this one here. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out. Uh, give me one sec. Yeah, I absolutely am having a blast playing this. It was it started off the episode started off rough, guys. It, it did. It, it started off rough, but I hope you guys are still enjoying this. Remember, if you guys want some more Sons of the Forest, all you gotta do is smash that like button. It's best way, and then we know that you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, we I feel like we dug out of the hole a little bit, a little bit. Uh, but I'll be doing one more stream. I'm gonna go. I gotta get cleaned up over here, and then I'll be doing one more stream tonight. We'll be playing some more uh, Dying Light 2. So hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys over there. Uh, but if not, you all have a great rest of your night. I want to thank you all again for all the love, all the support, um, all the brand new subscribers, all the likes, all the super chats, um, brand new members, gifted members. You guys absolutely out here is just showing so much love, man. So thank you again. I love you all. Hope you all have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.